good morning and welcome back to the channel uh happy new year etc it's first video of the year uh hope you all had a good uh, festive period so today i am in the elan valley thought i'd come here to show off the elan valley but as you can see there isn't a lot going on at the moment the fog is pretty thick uh, it's not too long uh, since sunrise hopefully some of this will burn off a little bit over the day but uh, if not then I'll just go and maybe shoot in a bit of the woodland here or something like that I have got a shot set up my first shot of the day it's minimalist but that's because I don't really have much choice in the, in the matter but um, this uh, Garrig the uh, reservoir there's a road crossing it it's got a lovely uh, sort of S curve into it and basically it's just going off into the fog uh, on this one. You'll probably, I'll probably show you the S curve but as you can see nice kind of disappearing and then that's what I have set up in the camera um, don't know if you could hear any of that because I turned the camera away from me I think I quite like this I'm surprised that I quite like this one but uh, yeah I'll put that one up on the screen for you Although this is my first vlog of the year, it's not the first time I've been out this year. Um, I was actually up here yesterday uh, morning to try and capture basically uh, the same sort of composition but with the uh, mountains and uh, the water tower in the background, uh, which you can see here. Didn't quite get the colour that I wanted yesterday morning, but I'll put the picture, the, I'll put the photo up on the screen uh, that I captured yesterday, just so you know the sort of exact kind of location I'm in. I really like this uh, Garrig the uh, dam. It's kind of made for uh, photographers really uh, with the S-curve dam and then in the background you've got like the mountainside so uh, yeah so I'll put that one up that I captured yesterday and then I think I'm just gonna probably hang around here for a little while because uh, it started getting a little bit lighter uh, above me there so maybe might start uh, getting a little bit of a, a view here. If not, then I'll just uh, have a think and decide where to go next. Uh, there is a little bit of sunlight coming through. Uh, you could just see the, the sun poking its head through there. It's lighting up things a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be doing much in terms of uh, burning off the fog at all at the moment anyway so um, I'm just trying to sort of go for another fairly minimalist shot which is just some uh, trees basically silhouettes of trees in the fog really so yes I'll put this one up on the screen for you now uh, when I finally get around to taking it I'm just waiting for a little bit just to see if the uh, fog just reveals the trees a little bit more than it is at the moment or the light lights them up a little bit so it's an absolutely beautiful morning here it's just uh, completely different to uh, what I was hoping for uh, but I'm going to make the most of these uh, nice conditions try and get some uh, woodland scenes and uh, just some light in the forest and uh, on the trees and things so i think i'm going to abandon the plan to show off elan valley at the moment anyway uh, it just doesn't seem to be a thing that i can i just can't really show off like the features of elan valley because you can't see them so but yes we'll uh, carry on with the the old foggy conditions and see what we can get
quite the fog is starting to clear a bit now uh, it's probably time to get on with the vlogging side of today's excursion which I've kind of completely forgotten about really because uh, the photography took over so much uh, then what I'll probably do is I shall put uh, the photos I've managed to capture hopefully I've got a few good ones I'll put them up the uh, end of the vlog uh, as a slideshow a lovely foggy morning beautiful uh, with the sunlight coming through so it's a new year I need to change a few things I had a really really bad year last year like in terms of getting myself out of the house I didn't even take a photo until March or something like that last year the whole lockdown situation a couple of things family related and stuff which uh, just really put a downer on the the start of the year and I never really recovered after that so uh, this year definitely going to try and make the most of it uh, being outside obviously mental health side of things you always feel a hell of a lot better when you're outside um, spending time in nature taking photos that's why I do photography because I enjoy how it makes me feel basically and I stopped doing that last year for some stupid reason so there's a few things uh, that I need to change almost habits really that I've gone back into that um, I hadn't I haven't been doing for a few years and then this last year really I started picking up the old bad habits again the first one is this gotta be out I have to be out all the time as much as possible every chance I get I need to stop making excuses for not going out I need to stop pretending I need sleep I've never needed sleep before and now all of a sudden last year I was like oh no I've, I've only had a couple of hours sleep I'm not gonna go out nope I've always been someone who can function on very little sleep so need to get back to that I'm gonna head back to my car and perhaps start making my way up the valley I'm in the, the Clarewind Valley at the moment um, I don't know if many of you people have been to Elan Valley but there's uh, two valleys Elan Valley and Clarewind Valley uh, Clarewind probably lesser visited I would say uh, it doesn't have the series of dams that the Yilan Valley has but it's just as beautiful hopefully you'll be able to tell that from the photos I show you at the end of the vlog but yeah I'm gonna make my way back to the car now and then go to my next location beautiful here isn't it it's a beautiful day too now a lot of the uh, fog was it's basically been a cloud inversion uh, lower down the valley so we're up out of it now and it's beautiful blue skies but we know that doesn't make great photography uh, conditions but uh, I'm gonna wait around for a little bit maybe an hour or so and see if anything happens yes it's been a day of contrasts couldn't see a thing this morning now I can see too much too much of the sky my last shots were going to be of Craggock Dam which was overflowing but it's not fully overflowing so as a photograph I probably wouldn't I wouldn't really like that uh, one I want the whole dam to be flowing rather than just a section of it I'm going to have a little think about what we can do now instead of that being my final shot. Hopefully we'll come up with something. Remember what I said earlier? I've always been someone who can function on very little sleep. Well, it turns out I'm a bit out of practice and the early starts have caught up with me a little by this point. So I spent the rest of the afternoon wandering around in the sun, trying to stay warm and awake before I headed back to the dam for sunset. 
So I made it to sunset. Yes, I did it without falling asleep. I am only just about here though, to be honest. I am very tired. And that's why my last shot of the day is basically what my last shot of the day was going to be if uh, the dam was overflowing fully and there was some cloud in the sky. So I'm just going to take that shot. We start the day with a curvy wall. Uh, we're going to end the day with a curvy wall. I've enjoyed today. I've enjoyed being out. Uh, could have done with slightly better conditions this evening, uh, but the conditions this morning were amazing. So it made up for the, the whole day. Part of me thinks I may, I perhaps should have uh, finished uh, the photography and uh, the vlog about midday today because I was still vaguely alert and uh, able to do things. But anyway, I'm going to grab this shot. What I'll probably do is put a slideshow up, including this shot. I won't put it up separately of uh, my day's photography. If you have enjoyed the video or if you'd like to uh, see more of my channel then please think about subscribing uh, it really helps the channel grow and i shall see you again in the next one bye for now